It's really, uh, it's like making a cake, eh? You, you can give somebody the recipe, but just because you gave them the recipe, it's probably not going to turn out the same. And that's basically how biological farming is. So, yeah, it's different. The chemical farming as we know it right now, there's so many negatives towards uh, soil health, mineral uptake, stuff like that. Eh? The chemicals are basically messing up the structure of the soil, they're tying up chemicals, they're killing off biology, and because of that, the inputs of the farmer just keep increasing and increasing. So, so that's the main challenge right now, is that guys are, their cost of production is beginning to breach their, uh, their what they're making on an acre, so they're not actually making any money now. So guys are looking at alternatives. I'm conventional right now, fully conventional. Um, I am transitioning um, one quarter to start with. Um, it's a pretty bad piece, so I'm not really gaining much by having it in conventional anyway. I hope to be able to reclaim the soil well enough to, to, uh, to make it work. So the big thing is to, to feed the, the microbial life in the ground and, and hopefully reclaim, get the microbial life strong enough so that earthworms will come back or be more prevalent and um, be able to uh, reclaim some of the soil that is, has been devastated. So out of using the eco tea, the main thing we want to see right now is a more uh, balanced biology in the soil. It's very easy to run yourself into a problem when you're, when you're trying organic farming. So anything we can do to, to make a healthier soil is going to benefit in the long term. <laughs>